okay that's why the proper grow uh, showing is done only with the help of citrins okay everyone and ashu everyone let me show you the diagram wait a second yes can you see that citril how it works yes, sir here we have the seed chamber this is the seed chamber we had to like uh, pour the seed over here okay and seed will go from here let me use another color of pink okay like here seed will go from here and will pour in the soil one by one like this okay so this is the citril okay so i want everyone had to take a screenshot one by one wait a second okay so next very important method is irrigation in agricultural practices so irrigation is nothing but okay the proper supply of water to the plant so that plant will grow pro like properly in order to produce a good yield of the crop so irrigation is again one of the important method so seed sown in the soil okay after the seed sown in the soil okay they require water for their proper growth and water requirement differ from crop to crop because rice the paddy crop require more crop a water as compared to other crop okay for instance paddy see paddy means the rice crop huh? needed a constant supply of water okay whereas wheat requires water at a regular interval is it or not is it everyone yes the paddy crop require yes. constant water yes the rainfall in is one of the source of the water for the crop otherwise we have like tube well dam wells okay they by which by where we can also provide water to the crop as one cannot always depend on the rainfall okay other way of supplying water to the crop have been devised like we have irrigation refer see what is irrigation that we have to understand that okay what is irrigation it water, refers to water supply to the crop yes yes okay so irrigation refer to the artificial application of water to the soil for assisting the growth of the crop okay so irrigation is nothing but the artificial method it is an artificial method because crop cannot be like uh, depend totally on the rain water okay that's why we had to supply water from either from the dam or tube wells or well or from rivers also lake we have the water reservoirs from there if you will applying water it is called as beta irrigation it is called as irrigation so water for the irrigation is obtained from the wells so these are the sources for irrigation rivers lake water reservoir tube wells etc so these are sir, the important yes beta sir i have two doubts sir what is uh, reservoirs a uh a -uh, where sir the blue color na line sir beside lakes beside lake reservoir reservoir like dam water reservoir like dam okay another doubt like suppose here we have the river okay and we have like one like made one uh, like barrier for flow of water so water is will going to like stay here so this is called as dam okay so this can be like uh, you know water reservoir okay so it is called as reservoir water reservoir understood methods of irrigation can be considered under the two broad categories one is called traditional one and other is the modern one modern. so yeah so we will understand both one by one so first method we are going to understand is traditional method so traditional method like canal irrigation furrow irrigation okay chain pump see we we will discuss each one by one don't worry here okay then uh, it is pulley system okay pulley system means we are having uh, you know uh, suppose here we have the river water and here we have the very long wheel here and wheel contains small small buckets 
on its surface and it is being like rotated manually so river water will get filled in that small bucket and will drop over here and here we can like supply water to the crop field so many traditional methods were being used in order to supply water to the crop field okay okay then we have dekli it is again one of the traditional method we can like you can go through with you know uh, internet also to observe how they looks like okay because in different part of india they have different kind of water uh, like you know uh, sources so they are using different kinds of practices okay then we have rahat it is nothing but the water wheel okay that we discuss here this is called as water wheel okay are some of the traditional method of irrigation these methods are cheaper because they do not require electricity they do not require like you know uh, like motor pump and all okay diesel pump they do not require for that that's why they are very cheaper but often lead to the wastage of water but wastage of water is much in traditional method okay now the second method we are going to understand here the modern method of irrigation so modern method like we have sprinkling irrigation drip irrigation system are the example of modern method and it you know uh, applies or uses very less water to supply water in a very large crop field okay the loss of water is very less in modern techniques this method helps in saving water okay so see this is the furrow okay this is the furrow kind of irrigation system okay here see you can see here we have the water like uh, you know small small furrows from their water is flowing continuously okay and it requires lot of water but as you can see in second diagram we are providing water to the crop by sprinkling so it requires very less water okay so sprinkling or sprinkle irrigation is the method that involve pumping water under the pressure through the nozzle and spraying over the soil like artif uh, over the soil like artificial rain okay here we have you can see here in the diagram it shows like the artificial rain over the crop this method is particularly effective for irrigation uneven land and area having the sandy soil okay so this even in our area we are using such type of irrigation in gardens also okay then we have the drip irrigation system okay generally drip irrigation system are being used by the farmer which are growing vegetables and uh, fruits farming okay so drip irrigation system is a method that involves the use of pipes okay or tubes with a very small hole over there so that drip like drop by drop water is going to supply to the plant okay to deliver water drop by drop directly to the base of each plant okay this method is very useful for like areas having a shortage of water so this is very effective in order to saving water okay so modern techniques like require less water and save more water okay and uh, by using less water we can irrigate more crop field area okay and it is again we can say like a very useful technique by which we can save the water okay the furrow what is furrow means the furrow is a long narrow cut made in the ground using the using a plowing okay which holds the water for the crop it is called as the furrow okay we already gone through over here so let discuss here which method of irrigation would you recommend it for the reason that frequently experience the shortage of water so either sprinkling or dripping system drip, drip, drip yes. irrigation yes yes drip is the best Yes. Why? Because it it supplies yeah, because water it directly to drop. the plant. Because the answer is in this matter. Yes. 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 Good. Good. Okay. So care must be taken not to what like not to waste the water. Okay. 
Because, yes. Yeah, because we have to save water. Water is the life. Okay. Excess of water on the field may cause a condition like water logging, okay, which may harm the crop by decreasing the amount of air available to the roots. Okay, if water is get you know uh, collected in a crop field, so will like uh, remove or the roots of the plant will not going to have much air through them, so that plant is not going to properly. That's why the water logging in the crop field is to be avoided, okay? And by sprinkling or the drip irrigation system, we can avoid that so that roots of the plant will get proper air for the proper growth, okay? Leading to increase in the salt content of the soil. If water is going to log in a soil, will increase the salt content of the soil. Yes, beta, yes. Wait a second. You don't want to in this. 